So guys, today I just wanted to share something that I just noticed. Um, if you guys remember, I removed all the emblems on this car. I like it a lot still. But what I noticed when I was cleaning is that there's quite a bit of scratching on the back under where the TLX badge was. Nothing on here where the A-spec was. That all looks really good. And the ones on the fender look really good. But I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Let me see. Now this one, there's no scratching here either, but it's where the TLX was right here. It's a lot of surface scratches. Like I said, I'm not sure if it'll pick it up or not. You see right there in the light. And like I said, they're surface. They're not deep where you fill them with your nail, really. But there's quite a bit of them. So I don't know if it's when I took the black chrome ones off. I think it's when I took the, the stock chrome ones off when I first put the original emblems on. I think I was a little bit too rough with these areas, and I scarred it up. So you really can't fill it. So I'm hoping some scratch out might take them out. That's one thing to be aware of. If you guys are removing yours, be careful with them. Because as you guys know, the pain on these cars is not the same as it used to be. It does scratch really easy. And this is different for me because a lot of my cars before you guys know has been silver. Didn't really show much. And this is a darker color. It's going to show a lot more. So I think that's where I'm noticing it too. Whereas maybe on the cord, it did have scratches, but it's hard to tell. Like I said, there was none up here when I removed the, the fender ones twice. But it was a TLX one. I don't know if it because it has all the little edges on it because each individual letters could have been. But what I'm going to use on it, if you guys use this product from Meguiar's here, it's the Scratch, a, Scratch X. Works really good, I've used it before. It's a good product. You just put a little bit on a rag, rub it around the scratch, and then take a clean microfiber and then buff it off. And supposedly this one says it has stuff to save the wax, but my rule of thumb is after you use it to re-wax that um, section, because this stuff is more abrasive. Safe for clear co coats, but you wanna be careful and you don't wanna rub too hard in the same spot for too long over and over again as it could um, mess it up. So from previous experience, that stuff works really good. So just be careful if you guys are removing your emblems. Like I said, the best trick to make it easier is always to heat up the emblem. Or if you don't have you know, a blow dryer or nothing like that, if it, the sun's out, park your car outside all day, let them get really warm. And then it's really easy to remove with you know fishing line or, or floss. Does a really good job and it makes it easier so you're not working as hard to get it off. And that's what can cause even um, scratches on the clear coat is by you know working too hard with floss even, or um, fishing line back and forth, it can leave little surface scratches because the paint's not the best as like it used to be. So if you can soften that glue up or the tape, it's much easier when you go through it, it melts off. Even some of them actually, when I removed them in the summer, have come right off without even any tools, just rocking it back and forth. So just want to share that tip with you guys so you guys can prevent hopefully scratching your car like I did. Okay, I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again, everybody.